Hi everybody, as you may know, I've mentioned this before, I have my book of uh, vlog ideas and there's been one in there, sat there for a while now, um, which I haven't got around to talking to and then it's been in the news lately and a few stupid things have been said and I thought, well, do you know what, it's time to crack that one out. Seems like a good time. And it's talking about piercings and tattoos in the workplace. Now there's two mindsets on this, well there's probably three mindsets, more likely. There's that they shouldn't have tattoos, tattoos are terrible, piercings, horrible people, criminals, all of them, blah blah blah. And then you have the people like me who are like, fucking love them. The more the better. Well, not the more the better, you know. Not going up there, there's a car on the side. And then there's people who don't mind them, I suppose. I suppose that's the three levels. As you may know, I have a couple of tattoos and I also have piercings which include tunnels in my ears. So, you can see where my point of view is going to come from. I like them, thus I don't have a problem with them, and that's fine. And what's come up in the news lately is to do with the police saying how they don't want officers to have visible tattoos on their arms and things like that. Now, because before now, I've had this discussion about saying, I saw a policeman with a tattoo of a sleeve on his arm. Sheep! Fuck! Anyway, um... Damn the sheep. Yeah, a policeman with um, tattoos in his arm, and they thought, oh, I didn't think the police were allowed to have tattoos. Now, as I understand it, you're not supposed to, but up until now, people have got away with it. Uh, if they've been a police officer and then got them. I don't know about that bit, but anyway. Those fucking sheep. Why are there sheep in a field? Here, they don't ever have sheep. Get to the point. But now they're asking for them, saying that policemen can't have visible tattoos and all of that crapola. And in a role as a policeman, I can understand that. Because you've got old people who still have this stereotypical view that anyone with a tattoo is a nasty person, is a criminal, you know, but we're not at all. Um, it's generally, it's culture related. Now in recent years, tattoos have become a lot more popular. My point is that with the police, as I say, I can understand that because you've got the stereotypical view of the old people and they might scare them and they're supposed to look respectable and and there is this general view that a tattoo makes you look I mean because a, a policeman is a uniform now if you're making yourself look different from other people then I can understand I can understand their point in that regard when it comes to HMV then jumping on the bandwagon and saying yes we want to get away from the the record store scruffy employee who's got tattoos and piercings and whatever they want um, and what they want to do with their hair and stuff like that. We want to get away from that and we want to get back into sort of being respectable and, and a good, good thing. There's only one flaw with that, which is people who are into music go into record stores and they don't want to see someone stood there with no piercings, tattoos or anything like that because it, t I mean, especially in this area where people are into metal quite a bit. And it's so stupid of HMV to do that, because what they're doing is, what they don't realise is, someone said, which is very funny, the garden said, if you get your employees to cover your tattoos up, you're not, your profits aren't going to go up with it. And this is the problem, HMV have got the problem that people don't buy CDs anymore. There is no money to be made from music CDs really anymore these days. People know that, artists know that. The money that's made is from merch, from touring and all the uh, adverts, advertisements and stuff like that is making them the real money, not the record sales. In fact, sometimes record sales lose the money because the amount it costs to get it printed, distributed, or the advertising, blah, 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 blah. So, for HMV to do this is counterintuitive because the only fuckers that go and buy CDs these days are people who love music and love the band so much that they want to go and own the CD rather than just download it for free or download it off iTunes like I do. Yes, I don't steal music. Why? You should go and pirate me! You should steal music! Fuck off! No, I don't have to. Don't try and tell me I should steal things. If you're telling me I should steal music, maybe you should be thinking about your morals first. But, yeah, anyway. Um, it seems so retarded when I read that. I was like, you can, of all people, a record shop. But, ah! What do I know? I've had my fair share of problems in work and tattoos and piercings. Tattoo's never really been too much of a problem because the only place I really had problems with having a tattoo, I only had one at that point, and it was covered by a short-sleeved shirt. My half sleeve on my other arm, that now sticks out below a t-shirt, so 
it could cause a problem, but it's not going to in my current job. But I had problems with piercings in one of my jobs when I was working as an assistant manager in Summerfield. Now, basically, I never really had a problem with my piercings with my manager because it was a manager's discretion thing. If they felt that they were okay and it wasn't impeding the business or anything, and you're on your phone, no good. Um, wasn't impeding the business in any way and wasn't affecting anything, then what was the problem? And I used to get people asking me about my tunnels all the time. They'd be like, what happened to your ears? And I'm like, oh, sniper tried to shoot me. Really bad shot. <laughs> it's a shit joke, but you know. And I had this argument with my old manager, yes, Wayne, remember the pig, Wayne, pig, yeah, him. He basically, he didn't like me, so he picked on anything he could, and piercings were a really obvious one. So he started telling me that I had to take him out. And I basically said, sorry, no. If you can give me a valid reason why after two years of working here it's not been a problem and now it is, then fair enough. It was very shortly before the point that I actually left that company, it was part of the reason, was the amount of grief I was getting. I mean, to one, one day, it's like five o'clock in the morning or something stupid in some horrible store, because we're out of store doing training because our store was getting refurbished. And he said to me, as I'm working out the bakers, you need to take your piercings out. I was like, how many more times have I told you I am not going to take them out until you give me a valid reason other than you are trying to pick on me. And said, because if you make me take my piercings out, then everyone else in this company has to do the same, or at least drop back down to what was the accepted um, guidelines. Because it was basically, there was a guideline which was, this isn't a problem, which was like studs or something. Um, and what was sort of questionable was anything more. And at that point I had one, two, three, four, so I had four in each ear, so I had eight. But they were done, they're not like higgledy-piggledy, they were jewelry all matched it. They look good, I like my ears when well, they got bits of metal in them. But anyway, yeah, he said to me, right, you've got to take them out. And I said, well, why? And he said, well, at least take those those holes out. And I was like, what do you think is going to happen to the hole in my ear when I take that bit of metal out? Do you think it's going to miraculously close up as if it was never there? And he's like, what do you mean? So I just took it out. And of course, then you have a hole in your ear with nothing in it. And then he was like, uh, uh, looked a little bit green and then walked away. Yeah, that worked. He left me alone for the rest of that day. I think he got my point, which was, if you have tunnels, okay, yeah, you, I mean, I, eventually I had to get clear things to go in them to stop him moaning. But I wasn't happy about that. Because I used to get compliments from people about them and questions and stuff. I never had, I mean, I had a few sort of, what on earth have you done to your ears? And they were like, pierce them, and they're like, oh, okay. I've never seen anyone do that before. It's like a tribesman. You've got holes in your ears, like a tribesman. It's like, yeah. I'm not a tribesman, I just have stretched earlobes. But the thing that people rarely realise about tattoos and piercings is what it says about a person. It shows that they are a unique individual. Unless, I mean, some people, yeah, they get it because the crowd got it, but trust me, I'm not one of those people. Um, but it shows you have dedication, you have a passion, you have, you have commitment. Because when you get a tattoo, obviously, it's for life. I mean, it doesn't feel that way so much these days because of the laser removal. Well, I don't really like the idea of the fact that tattoos can be removed. They're there, they're marks. They have meanings to me, they're not just pretty pictures. They all have very, very significant meanings to me. The thing is, I know that probably quite a lot of you that are watching this have the same problem. If you're in America, me and Jake have spoke about this a lot. Like, with sleeves and stuff. Um, if, you, if your work has a, a short sleeve shirt, as I understand it in America, they were made to wear, well not made to wear, they wear, but they have to wear to, to apply to be, to be able to actually work there. These like long sleeve undershirts, so it just covers them up. Okay, fine, I, I wouldn't have really have a problem with that. It's not fine. If you can easily cover them up and it's not a big deal for you, then it's fine. Taking my piercings out, for instance, I'd have problems getting them back in. Besides the fact that I need tools to take some of the rings out of my ears because they're closed. But I still will maintain the fact that it is fucking stupid. Tattoos have been done on humans for fucking thousands of years. The, what was it, the ice mummy guy? 
Do you remember the one that was found in the ice and there was arguments over whether it was Austria or Germany or Switzerland, I can't remember, Austria and Switzerland, that owned him? He had fucking tattoos! And they also believed that they were being used for medicinal reasons. Now, I don't actually believe that they work for medicinal reasons, necessarily. Maybe they used something in the ink. Because let's remember, they weren't using guns back then. They were using bones and sticks and stones. What is she doing? Has she got like a moustache? She keeps staring at me, though. Stop staring at me, little girl. Scaring me. No, you're eating your phone. Sit down! I'm going to tickle your bum. Um, <laughs> what do you reckon about it? I mean, if, I know, I, I can pretty much guarantee I know what most, opinion, most people's opinions are going to be. Have a look through the comments, leave your comment, and I bet you it's most people like, I haven't got problems with piercings, but I really like, oh, I really like them, or I don't have a problem with them. They may even say like me, that I, in like a record store, I tend to go for the person that has tattoos and piercings. It shows me they have, I don't know, it tells me what sort of person they are. It's fun down here, it really is. And there'll be a very, very small minority, most likely, with people saying, I dislike tattoos, I dislike piercings. That's fine, don't get any. For you to then turn around and tell someone else that you don't like them because they have tattoos, that is not all. In my opinion. And I'm sure people agree. There you go. But it just surprised me to see that such a company as HMV would be so fucking stupid. And I suppose it just proves that all companies now, they're not run by the people that had the passion for the business in the start. The people who love music. The person who started HMV would have had a passion for music. I don't think they do now. They're a bunch of fucking accountants. And if they say, oh no, we're still into the whole, we like to be people to be individuals and all this shit, which I believe they said, bollocks. So let me know what your opinion on this one is, because it's interesting. It's something that's close to my heart, and my ears, and it's in my skin. So it's that important to me. When I'm 80, and I have tattoos that remind me of things that happened in my life, and I will have more, I just can't afford them at the moment, and I see my piercing holes, I remember why I had them. It was because I was an individual, I was a different person, I am who I am. And I've never had the feeling I'm going to age. In a bad way. I don't I mean, no one knows, do they? But my brain will be kept active. And remember that people on bikes, who ride bikes between the age of 40 and 50, I think it is, have a higher brain activity for the remainder of their life, as I understand it, because of the extra cognitive uses of your brain. Because this shit... Wah! Takes brain power. Have I actually managed to say that doing something stupid is actually intelligent? Mm, interesting! Or stupid. Anyway, I'll catch you next time, yeah? Pretty ask it to get trouble, eh? <laughs> Hide behind the bushes! Oh, fucking hell, it's slippery! Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, shit. Yeah, there you go. I'm in